And good evening. The search is over for a University of Alabama student who fell into the Black Warrior River after falling off the Bama Bell last night. According to the Tuscaloosa Fire and Rescue, search crews recovered the body of 20-year-old Charles Edward Jones the third, just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Trey, as he is known to his family and friends, reportedly fell from the deck of the Bama Bell just before 10 o'clock last night. Jones was one of many guests attending a Delta Sigma Theta annual formal party on the riverboat. The search started last night and was called off in the early hours of the morning. I don't see my home. Well, is he? Because he was on the boat with y'all. So, well, is he? Late this afternoon, everyone got their answer. Yeah, at 1.55 this afternoon, uh, divers from Tuscaloosa Fire and Rescue Service and the Tuscaloosa Police Department uh, recovered Mr. Jones um, while doing their grid search pattern on the river. It was the conclusion to more than a 12-hour search in and around the Black Warrior River in downtown Tuscaloosa. Fire and Rescue Chief Chris Williamson said information from people on the boat gave them the location to search for the body. They were operating a grid uh, based on information that they received from the personnel that were on the boat last night. Uh, so they were able to give them some information which gave them a general area to search. And Tuscaloosa Police Sergeant Brent Blakeney says the first couple of hours are always the most important in cases like this. Something of this nature, especially with current, uh, it's very critical uh, in the first couple hours uh, to just use all your resources as possible. Authorities say there will be an autopsy done. We'll have those results for you when they are released to us. In other news tonight, major developments for the future of Alabama's mental health hospitals. Governor Robert Bentley reversed course today from his original plan to close but all but two facilities. The new direction can be characterized as a compromise with benefits at both the state and local levels. WVA's Lindsey Price with our story tonight. I came to the conclusion that I still felt that we needed a state-run hospital for our mentally ill. And if we're going to have a state-run hospital in Alabama, that state-run hospital should be in Tuscaloosa. And with that, Governor Robert Bentley announces construction for the new Bryce Hospital will move forward. As planned, it will sit on the campus of the Partlow Developmental Center on University Boulevard. Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox feels this is a move that benefits both patients and the city. We believe this is in the best interest, obviously, of our mental health consumers. We needed a place where we could put those who are in acute mental distress into a facility that can ensure their wellness and safety. Governor Bentley says unlike in the original plan, the Taylor Hardin Secure Medical Facility will now stay open. However, two other state hospitals, Searcy and Grill Memorial, will close after patients move into community homes. However, Bentley adds there is no deadline for those closures. We are trying to get uh, as many stable individuals out in the public sector, out in the community, as we possibly can, but they need to have a very good infrastructure in place on a public level in order to take care of those individuals. Governor Bentley and Mayor Maddox both agree that having Bryce Hospital here in Tuscaloosa will be a symbol of progress since the April 27 storms. Just east of me, 60% of Alberta was destroyed on April 27. Uh, we needed an investment here that's going to trickle down to an investment in Alberta. Uh, this is going to be a $70 million investment in the heart of our recovery that I think is going to have a great economic impact. And ultimately, by Bryce remaining here, it's going to save hundreds of jobs, which is great for our community. In Tuscaloosa, Lindsey Price, WVUA News. And the governor says construction equipment will start coming back to the new Bryce Hospital location on Monday. A new bill in the Alabama legislature would create tougher penalties for Alabamians caught carrying more than eight grams of an illegal drug. The bill passed by the state house today and now goes to the Senate for consideration. It would make it a class B felony to carry more than eight grams of substances like cocaine or heroin. The crime would be punishable by up to 20 years in prison and a fine of up to $10,000. Currently, possession of less than 28 grams of an illegal drug is considered for personal use and is a class C felony. An advisory committee has been named to the search for the next president of the University of Alabama. Former president Dr. Robert Witt was recently named chancellor of the UA system. Now a 23-member committee has been named to help find his replacement. 
Chancellor Witt says the committee represents faculty, staff, students, alumni, and members of the Board of Trustees. The University of Alabama system has three campuses and is the largest higher education organization in the state with 57,000 students and a $4.6 billion budget. Well, retired NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal was here in our building today on the University of Alabama campus. The NBA star directed a public service announcement with students for the Less Than You Think campaign. O'Neal and the Century Council, a key funder of the campaign, are partnering to fight binge drinking on college campuses. Shaq, who recently attended film director school, worked alongside the students to bring their voice to life by producing a student-created video addressing college-age binge drinking. He says it only takes that extra drink to put you over the legal limit. You know, in these spots, we're just urging people to drink responsibly. You know, we've all been to college and, you know, we, we've all been to parties, but all it takes is that, that extra one, two, three, or, or fourth drink to take you over the top. So. And Attorney General Luther Strange was also on campus today. He took part in the Shack directed PSA. As the Attorney General Strange has seen firsthand cases where binge drinking has had negative outcomes. He says getting the message out is key, and he appreciates a star, a star of O'Neill's stature lending his name and services to the project. It's especially important, it always is on college campuses, to remind our students that binge drinking is a problem. A lot of times they think they're invincible, they're not. And so uh, out of uh, concern for their safety uh, and to keep the whole community safe, we really promote this. And so to have Shaquille O'Neal here is a pretty big deal. Students are excited about it. I'm very happy to be with them and uh, promote this great cause. Another star is headed to T-Town. Country music legend Hank Williams Jr. is bringing a show to the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater. 38 Special will join him at the amphitheater on Saturday. The show starts at 8 o'clock. Tickets begin at $27. For more information, just go to our website, WVATV.com, and click on the Numbers and Links section. University Place Elementary is one step closer to fixing its schools after it was damaged by the April 27th tornado. Now today, the Tuscaloosa Democrats gave them a $500 check. Officials with the organization say they wanted to do something to help the community regroup and grow after the majority of it was damaged after April 27th. They say it's important to invest money in the schools because the students are our future. Tuscaloosa Democrats have also given money to Alberta and Holt Elementary, which were other schools affected on April 27th. Well, Easter is Sunday, and Christians all across the world will celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And this weekend, you have the opportunity to see the Easter story, and you don't even have to leave the comfort of your own car. Tommy Townsend takes us to an Easter celebration like none other. Woman, I do not know him. The drive through Easter drama at Mount Olive Baptist Church is a little different than what you would normally see on Good Friday. Churches do choir cantatas and sunrise services and all that. And out here where we're at, we just felt like that this would be a great opportunity to do a, a drive through Easter drama. Actors in the drama say they're happy to give the community a fun new way to celebrate Easter. Not a lot of people would get to you don't, you don't get to experience this anywhere else. It's, uh, it's something fun and, and something people, they don't have to get out and walk and they can just come and drive through and it's really easy and accessible for them. It, it's something really fun. Now from the Lord's Supper to this empty tomb, they've been spending months putting these sets together and no detail has gone unnoticed. All the scenes that you uh, will see here tonight have been handmade, painted. The wood and everything was donated by people in the community and uh, we're just so happy to do this. If you missed it tonight, don't fret. You can also see it tomorrow. If you've never seen anything like this, this is something that you definitely need to see. It will touch your heart. It touches our heart just to be able to do this because, like I said, we're not doing this for us. We're doing it for Jesus. In Coker, Tommy Townsend, WVUA News. And the drive through pageant starts again tomorrow at dusk. Well, of course, you can't have Easter without an Easter egg hunt. And tomorrow is the biggest egg hunt in Tuscaloosa County. It takes place at the Doro Farm in Romulus. Bring everyone, kids, friends, family, they're all invited. There'll be drinks, burgers, hot dogs, chips, and several other delicious spring dishes. They'll also have a hayride and games for the kids. And, of course, the egg hunt, the fun starts at 3 o'clock. Also tomorrow, the First Wesleyan Church is hosting 
the fourth annual citywide Easter Fest. It takes place at Snow Hinton Park in Tuscaloosa and kicks off at 10 a.m. and goes until noon. Organizers say it will have more than 14,000 eggs along with games, inflatables, and rock climbing, live music, free food, and a petting zoo. Looks like a lot of fun.